piece, of course, to rapper Craig Mack. Uh, of course, Craig his hit song was Flavor in Your Ear, released in 1994. He was only 46. He passed away yesterday of con congestive heart failure. Man. He had been living in South Carolina after leaving New York and the world of hip-hop to live a more religious life. However, this just came in. So, a new report just came in claiming that Craig was actually off the grid and living on or near a compound that was devoted to the teachings of self-proclaimed prophet named Ralph Gordon Stair. Uh, the the over came in Ralph. <laughs> Ralph Gordon Stair. The Overcomer Ministry is a self-sustaining farm, and its followers it say that... Yeah, Craig, I feel all the way. Say that he await that they await the second coming of Jesus. Well, now this prophet minister Ralph Stair has been accused of molesting women and is out on bail right now for cupping a 12-year-old's breast live on one of their sermons. Um, he was just actually released on bail. And if you look up the videos, you can because I thought, oh, this is terrible coming out right when Craig had. But they did put out videos. You can look up, look them up on. Um, and you can see several of them containing Craig Mack, where he actually denounces his old rap life of wickedness and says um, he's closing a path of righteousness. Now this guy- The rapper best known for classic 90s single, Flavor in Your Ear, has died. Richard Harvey of the Collington County Coroner's Office confirmed to NPR Music that Mack died in his home near Walterboro, South Carolina, around 9 p.m. He died of natural causes and was 47. Mack initially released music under the moniker MC Easy in the late 1980s, but it was Mack's Grammy-nominated, platinum-selling, 1994 song, Flavor in Your Ear, that made his name. The song was the first single released by Sean Combs, then-fledging record label Bad Boy Entertainment. Propelled by that hit, Mack released his debut album, Ministry, a congregation led by the controversial evangelist Ralph Gordon Stair, who was charged this past December with a litany of offenses, including three counts of criminal sexual conduct. A video which surfaced around 2012 shows Stair beginning an introduction by proclaiming, Craig Mack is dead. We have somebody who used to be Craig Mack, and he didn't join our church. God joined him. Afterwards, Mack addressed the congregation, responding to Stair's question of what he used to do by answering wickedness. God bless everybody out there. Let me say it. Show me love. Bad boy in the house. My man Puff Daddy. You know what I'm saying? Four five. My man G. And we out like that. Peace. A 16-year-old teen is being hailed as brave after detailing her account of being raped by a South Carolina religious leader, leading to other women coming forward and him being arrested. Natasha Lair described in a since deleted, heartbreaking YouTube video about she was being forced to attend the church of Pastor Ralph Gordon Stair. She claimed was sexually assaulted by Stair while working at his compound for five months. Stair, also known as Brother Archie Stair, was arrested by Carlton County Sheriff's deputies on Monday morning on charges of criminal sexual conduct, kidnapping, burglary, and assault, reported the Post and Courier. Stair, a radio evangelist who leads the Overcomer Ministry in Walterboro, has gained notoriety for his preachings, which are broadcast to radio stations around the world. Stairs Commune sits on 130 acres of land about two miles off of Interstate 95. Of residents live in mobile homes or hand built houses secluded from the road by a line of trees. The followers give all worldly goods and monies to the Lord, according to the ministry's website, and accept Stair as the last day prophet of God.